Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you for joining me today. How are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. This is my Finishing the Bible One Year Project. We are on day 43. I almost said 42. Jeez, 43. Day 43. So, today we are in numbers. And we're doing numbers 3 and 4. So, numbers time. Again, we're using Blue Letter Bible, King James Version. And yeah, two chapters today because they are kind of long. That one, oof, the 51. And this is quite long as well. They're both around 50, so 100 verses. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So yesterday we uh, were we were with the... Uh, basically, we were talking about how, you know, now they're dividing up the armies and making armies and... And all these different tribes, armies, and stuff. And it's really kind of confusing stuff and kind of a little dry as well, just like Leviticus. So um, I'm hoping we can get to stories soon. But yeah, numbers three and four. Let us go, guys. So, verse one of Numbers three. These are also the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that Jehovah spake with Moses in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the songs, sons of Aaron. Oh, more sons. <laughs> so, guys, just again, word of warning. Uh, forgive me for doing a bad pronunciation with the names. Anyway, these are the sons of Aaron. Nadab, the firstborn. Abihu, Elizar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. And Adab and Abihu died before Jehovah when they offered strange fire before Jehovah in the wilderness of Sinai. And they had no children, and Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron, their father. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near. And present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him, and they shall keep his charge in the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation, to do the service of the tabernacle. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation in the charge of the children of Israel to, to do, or Israel, sorry, pronunciation of that, um, Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and and to his sons, they are wholly given unto him of the children of Israel. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office. And, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. I was going to say Israel. Israel. Maybe I should just learn how to say it right. Matrix? What are they talking about? That openeth the matrix among the children of Israel, therefore the Levites shall be mine. I've heard that term before, matrix. What are they talking about, the matrix? And Jehovah spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, The number number the children of Levi, after the house of their fathers by their families, every male from a month old upward shalt thou number them. And Moses numbered them according to the word of Jehovah, as he was commanded. And these are the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, Merari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kothoth, uh, Kohath by their families, Amram, and Ezar, Hebron, and Uziel. And the sons of Merai by their families, Mali, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites, according to the house of their fathers. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites, and the family of Shimites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, even those that were numbered of them were 7,500. The families of the, Ger of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward. The chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph, the son of Lael. And the charge of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle, the tent covering thereof, and the hanging of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the hangings of the court and the curtain were the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar roundabout, and the cords of it for all the service thereof. 
and Kohath was the family of the Amorites, and the family of the Izarites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. And the number of all the males from a month old and upward were 8,600, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. The family of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle southward. The chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. And their charge shall be the ark and the table and the candlestick and the altars and the vessels of the sanctuary wherewith they minister in the hanging and the, all the service thereof. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, shall be chief over the chief chief over the chief of Levites and have the oversight of them to keep charge of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Melites and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Merari. And those that were numbered of them according to the number of the males from a month old and upward were 6,200. And the chief of the house of the father of the families Merari was Zerilus, the son of Abihail. These shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward. And under the custody and charge of the sons Merari shall be the boards of the tabernacle the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and the vessels thereof, and all that service, uh, serveth thereto. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. But those that encamp before the tabernacle toward the east, even before the tabernacle of the congregation eastward, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary for the charge of the children of Israel. And, they, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And all that were numbered the Levites, which Moses and Aaron numbered, at the commandment of Jehovah throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty and two thousand. And Jehovah said to Moses, Number all the firstborn of the males of the children of Israel from a month old upward, and take the number of their names. And thou shalt take the Levites from me, I am Jehovah. Instead of all the first among, uh, firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites, instead of the firstlings among the cattle of the children of Israel. And Moses numbered, as Jehovah commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and all the firstborn males by the number of the names, from a month old and upward, of those were no numbered of them, there or, were twenty and two thousand, two hundred and threescore and thirteen. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle the Levites instead of their cattle, and the Levites shall be mine. I am Jehovah. And for those that are to be redeemed, the two hundred and threescore and thirteen of the firstborn of children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by, a, by the pole. After the shekel of sanctuary shalt thou take them. The shekel is twenty geras. And thou shalt give the money wherewith the odd number of them is to be redeemed unto Aaron and his sons. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over and above them that were redeemed by the Levites. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel took he the money, a thousand three hundred and three score five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons according to the word of Jehovah as Jehovah commanded Moses. Okay, kind of. We I don't really know what's going on. They're numbering the Levites, and then giving them money. I have no idea what's going on. It's kind of confusing, guys. Anyway, Numbers four, verse one. Okay, well now we're at with some other ites. And Jehovah spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, "Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi after their families, by the house of their fathers." Is this going to be the same thing, but with Kohathites? Oh my word. Anyway, let's just power through. From 30 years old and upward, even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. There shall be the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things. Can I just quickly say, side note, um, this is so confusing. Just imagine being living in those times and, and everything about like all these different things and, and you know, all these different, uh, you know, rulers and, and elders and different r rules and laws and uh, steps that you must take and oh my gosh i'm just so thankful to be to be alive i mean yeah there's lots of rules we have to follow today but man that sounds so confusing anyway back to numbers 4 verse 5 and when the camp setteth forward aaron shall come and his sons and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of the testimony with it 
and they and shall put thereon the covering of badgers skins and shall spread it over a cloth holy or blue and shall put the staffs thereof and upon the table is this okay on another side note is this like basically saying is this basically this is basically just saying um like how the tabernacle is to be like packed up and stuff i don't know anyway Numbers 4 verse 7. And upon the table the shoe bread, they shall spread the cloth of blue and put thereon the dishes and the spoons and the bowls and covers to cover withal, and the continual bread shall be thereon. And they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet and the cover of the same with a covering of the badger skin that shall put in the staffs thereof. And they shall take a cloth of blue and a cover of candlestick of light and his lamps and his tongs and his snuff dishes and all the oil vessels thereof wherewith they minister unto it. And they shall put it in all the vessels thereof within a covering of badger skins and shall put it upon a bar. And upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with a covering of badger skin and shall put the staffs thereof. And they shall take all the instruments of ministry wherewith they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a cloth of blue, cover them with a covering of badger skin, and shall put them on a bar. They shall take away the ashes from the altar and spread the purple cloth thereof. And they shall <clears throat> put upon it the vessels thereof wherewith they minister about it, even the censers, the flesh hooks, and the shovels, and the ba basins, and the vessels of the hostel altar. And they shall spread upon it covering badger skins and put the to the staffs of it. And when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary, as the camp is to set forward after that, the sons of Kohath shall come to bear it, but they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the off of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest pertaineth to the oil for light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight, and the tabernacle, and all, and of all that is there therein is in the sanctuary and the vessels thereof and Jehovah spake unto Moses uh, and unto Aaron saying cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites but thus do unto them that they may live and not die when they approach unto the most holy things Aaron and his son shall go in and appoint anoint no point sorry appoint them to everyone to his service and to his burden but they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered lest they die and Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Take all the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families, from thirty years old and upward until fifty years old, shalt thou number them, and all that enter into enter in to perform the service to do work in the tabernacle of congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites to serve and for burdens, and they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of congregation. His covering and the covering of the badger skins that is upon it, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle and the congregation, and the hangings of the court and the hanging of the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about, and their cords, and all the instruments of their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. And appoint and at the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of Gershonites in all their burdens and in all their service, and ye shall appoint unto them charge all burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merari, thou shalt number them after the families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward even unto fifty years old shalt thou number them, every one that entereth into the service to do work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, the boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with their service. And by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. And Moses Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families and after the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward even until fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And those that were numbered of them by their families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were they that were numbered of the families of the Kohathites. 
Athites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, which Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of Jehovah by the hand of Moses. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout their families and the by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even unto 50 years old everyone that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation even those that were numbered of them throughout their families by the house of their fathers were 2630 these are they that were numbered of the families of the sons of gershon of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation whom moses and aaron did number according to the commandment of jehovah and those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari throughout their families by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them after their families were three three thousand and two hundred. These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord, or Jehovah. <laughs> by the hand of Moses. All those that were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the chief of Israel numbered after their families and after, excuse me, after the house of their fathers, from 30 years old and upward, even until 50 years old, everyone that came to do service of the ministry and the service of the burden of the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them, were 8,504 score. According to the commandment of Jehovah, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, everyone according to his service, and according to his burden. Thus were they numbered of him as Jehovah commanded Moses. Okay, whew. That was, uh, that was rough, guys. I mean, I know that they're trying to explain everything and all the, you know, genealogy and history, but man, that is rough. So I'm hoping tomorrow... Numbers 5. I think we're doing 5 and 6 tomorrow, too. Um, let me just double-check that real quick. I, I, I believe so. So, Yep, just it's two more. Because I think these chapters are so long. I'm kind of going to get a sneak peek real quick, guys. Oh, please. Uh, I think maybe we'll, we're finally going to get uh, get going. So, well, we'll save that for tomorrow as a surprise. Here's our daily promise for today, guys. I like to read this at the end of my reading. So, here we go. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judea, Judah. Second Chronicles 32, verse 8. So here's the reflection. In the Old Testament, the Lord always helped his people during times of war. Today, God still promises to be with us and help us fight our battles, both physical and spiritual. This is why we are told in Ephesians 6 to put on the armor of God. Ooh, I love that first, guys. You know, th this channel is dedicated to Ephesians, the armor of God. This armor is made up of the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, sandals of the preparation of the gospel of peace, and the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, or the word of God. Another weapon we should use is prayer. Prayer is the way we talk to God and intercede on behalf of others. It is one of the most, if not the most, powerful weapon we have. Are you praying always? That's a good point. We need, we do need to pray always and I know I myself sometimes um, don't always pray. I, I try to dedicate specific times out of the day specifically like you know be alone and and dedicate time for praying to god and and then i you know i talk to him you know in my in my head um you know throughout the day at different times but i i know i don't do it enough and i and that's one thing that i'm going to pray for right now for us for us all so let's bow our heads dear Jehovah, our elohim Thank you for today. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Lord, I pray that you can help us grow and get closer to you. Help us with our faith. Help us with uh, reading your word. And Lord, I pray that we can pray more. Praying is uh, just once or twice a day is not enough. Help, Please help us pray more. Please help us with our current battles and struggles. In your precious holy name, Yehovah, our Elohim. Amen. Amen and amen. So thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for listening. Um, hopefully see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. TTFN, ta-ta for now. God bless and remember to put God first in everything you do. <laughs>
<laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.